So first advice is to take the class. That way you can understand better for yourself what the strengths and weaknesses and opportunities and pitfalls of online education are. The other, another piece of advice I have goes back to time management. To me, my way of thinking, online courses almost require more time than their face-to-face -face counterparts. So understanding that and understanding as an instructor, but then as a student, you've got to be, to my way of thinking, more motivated and more dedicated because you've got to get up and you've got to do these classes on your own time. There's no classroom meeting. There's no nothing. You, you, it's there. You see your syllabus and it's 100% your responsibility to get it done. So I think it takes better time management than face-to-face. Uh, and the last piece of advice I have for online uh, anybody, teachers or students, is you hope for the best, but you prepare for the worst. See, these online platforms, they're marvelous things. They're great things. But they're machines, and they're machines built by men, so they will crash. At some point, the online platform will experience a technical issue. Now, I go back to the floods. You know, I go back to when we talked about the floods in 2015. Great pieces of this state were without telephone lines for a great amount of time. That meant great pieces of this state couldn't do online education because there was no internet. There was no... So be ready for electronic issues. Be ready for, especially as a student, don't intend to wait till midnight to turn your assignment in because they could be doing server maintenance at midnight. You know, so be prepared for the platform to break. Be prepared for that to happen and have a plan. As the instructor, have a plan for the class, but as the student, have a plan for yourself to deal with uh, technology and its interruptions.